this is his vision so well he wants him there his vision he he's gonna make provision so what what is expect the expected size of the group and, and how does that enhance the experience I don't have an expectation on how many individuals are going to attend. I have a desire to see the house filled. And in seeing the house filled, that's my desire. But if God only sends one person other than myself, I know that it was meant for that individual. So I I, I pray and I'm really moved by what God does because God continues to add every year to the number. Um, I believe when we first started out, um, there were about 13 women. And since then, we have grown. We have grown um, a great deal. I think our last, our last retreat, we may have had a little over 20 women. So each year, God adds. And so this is what... Um, I, like I said, I don't put uh, expectation on who's going to come. I want whosoever will let them come. That That's my perspective. And like I said, I would love to see the house filled. Each room can hold up to four people. So if, oh. if we pack the house, we can pack the house. If there's uh, two people to a room, there could be two people to a room. If there's only one person in each room, whatever God has purpose, predestined, and ordained, for that moment in time, that's what I'm working with. So what should participants bring or, or prepare before attending? An open heart, an open heart to receive. All you have to do is pack your bags. And if you desire to have your spending money for just um, your travel and everything, that's fine. There's nothing that's required for anybody to bring. We provide everything. I cook every meal that we have. That's, this is how intimate this experience is. Every meal that is prepared, regardless of the size of the groups at this point, these hands have prepared it. So everything that wow. is done in color outside the lines it is an intimate experience because god d desires to show us a more excellent way there are so many of us that don't have the the luxury of having uh someone to serve us there's so, there's so many and and the ladies they always want to put their hands to it. let us help you let us do this let us do that and I, I have to be a little selfish in that sometimes because that's my blessing. That's my way of giving and showing love to those who are attending. But sometimes people want to do that for you too and want you to sit down and take a break. Yes, ma'am. And you may have to let them do for you just that, even if it's just one day, if it's just one meal because that's taken from them and they want to give to you to say I, thank yeah. you. And it may be in a small way, yeah. but they may want to feel that they need to do, do that. Some people, they may feel, they hear what you're saying, but they feel as though they need to do it. It's something in them that needs to do it. And it's not just because you're doing all of that. Maybe they just need to get away from maybe that moment that they're in and they need to change their their, their way of thinking and that could be something because they may be transitioning and going through something at that moment and for them to step up and say that that takes them from that space so they may want to yes. do that i receive it yes ma'am mm -hmm. so is, is this i know you said this you've been doing this since uh 2022 yes and 2023 and 24 um do you have plans to make it an ongoing series yes Yes, ma'am. Until the Lord says anything different, we will have color outside the lines until he says there's no more color outside the lines. And so when the when the you've assignment has back. been totally completed, that's when we stop. You've taken me back when you um, explain color outside the lines because I'm sitting there remembering elementary school and me going, you, my sister taught me that. I would just color. And yes, it was outside of the lines plenty of times. 
but she showed me how to take the black crown and go around whatever it was. If it was a circle, it was a circle. If it was a triangle, it was a triangle. And that's when I would see, I could see it better because it was a darker place and I was able to stay in the lines. And I was so proud of myself that I was able to stay in the lines because she she always wondered how come I was 